You think we're just in here singing songs and boy, didn't the band play good today? No, you are shutting the mouth of your enemy. And you know what? There's somebody else in torment and depressed and hanging by a thread and suicidal and they can't praise. That's why your praise is reproductive. So your praise will ricochet all over this building because the Bible said when Paul and Silas praised God, it wasn't just their jail cell that was open, but all the doors were open. So you have no idea what doors you're opening on the row of everybody that's down you that's hurting so bad they can't get a sound out. You get a sound out for them and set them free. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when you pray, believe you have received and you shall have, Mark eleven twenty two 22 through 24. Believe you, have. when did the Bible say you have it? When you pray. You don't have it when you have it. You have it when you pray. I'm preaching the Bible. Okay, now can we be real? How many of you have been praying for stuff for months and years and you still don't have, have it? Come on, be real with me. If it's not you, I'm gonna let y'all preach. Come on, amen. <laughs> hey, some people have been praying for some stuff 10, 20 years, and you don't have it. Well, either God is the universe's greatest tease, or there's something we don't know. It's only one of two things. Because he said, whatever it is in heavenly places, believe you have received it when you say it, and you shall have it. So God sent the answer when I prayed. Say, prove it. Go to the book of Daniel and you'll find this story. Daniel prayed to God. God sent Gabriel, the musical angel, with the answer to Daniel's prayer. The moment Daniel prayed, God answered the prayer. When he, when he prayed, he believed, he received, and he had it. But Daniel waited 21 days. Finally, the angel Gabriel appeared to Daniel and said, God gave me your answer 21 days ago, but when I was coming through the heavens, I was detained by the prince of Persia. When I started coming through number two, the principalities and powers over this nation, I got in a fight. I got in a conflict because they didn't want you to get this answer. Now, Gabriel is a musical angel. He's not a fighting angel. But Gabriel, even though he can't fight, he can make a sound. And when Gabriel makes a sound, God dispatches Michael, the archangel. You don't want to mess with Michael. Michael is a bad, bad boy. And he comes out and he takes care of the prince of Persia and brings a breakthrough. And that Daniel gets his answer to his prayer. But it had to go from three through two to get to number one. Somebody take 10 seconds and just give the Lord your God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. High five somebody and say, God's about to give you your stuff. See, we thought it was just about coming in and singing stuff. <laughs> Encourage me a little bit. Let me go home feeling better. Get me ready for the week. If God ripped back the veil of the invisible world and you saw the conflict that was going on a few minutes ago when y'all were praising God, there, was con there were two kingdoms coming in conflict over your kids, over your money, over your career, over your businesses. You have no idea what was being released on your behalf. <laughs> Some of you have no idea what angels had to do to get you to church today. Is this all right? Yeah. 
I told you it was weighty. It's weighty. So God reveals himself in threes. I went on this journey 20 years ago. And I found that praise has three levels. There's first dimension praise. There's second dimension praise. And there's third dimension praise. Psalm 149 and 150, I'm going to talk about that in about two weeks. I'll break it down. It's full of this same information. It talks about there is a praise that silences the enemy. Why does the enemy have to be silenced? Because he's always talking. And he's talking in your head. And he's causing you to doubt yourself. And he's causing you to doubt your value. And he's causing you to be offended at somebody. He's causing you to hate. He's causing you to have bitterness. He's causing you to have resentment. He's causing you to say, oh, somebody else always gets the miracle. And why does somebody else always get blessed? And I never get blessed. He's saying all those things in your head and he never stops. He's reminding you of everything wrong everybody ever did to you. Every betrayal, everybody that walked out. He's sending it constantly because the Bible says he is the father of all lies. He's a liar. Now, let me just tell you the power your enemy has. Your power does not have authority. I mean, your enemy does not have authority over you. Here's the authority of Satan. He has the power to send you a lie. You have the power whether or not to believe it. And whatever a man thinketh, if he can get you to believe it, it will happen. He doesn't have the power to make it happen. He has the power to suggest. When, when, when Satan came to Adam, he, did, he even said, has God not said? He suggests. And then you grab it and say, you know, you're right. Oh, it's dangerous. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I've heard it put this way. Satan is a mouse with a microphone. A mouse with a microphone. One of my mentors told me that. <coughs> Three. There's a praise that silences the enemy. Now, the only thing I can say is it must be another level of intensity and passion because it doesn't talk about a demonstration in Psalm 149 and 150, but then it takes you to another, it ratchets it up, ratchets it up to the second dimension. It says there is a praise that steals the enemy. So now there is one level of praise. You think we're just in here singing songs, and boy, didn't the band play good today? No, you are, sh you are shutting the mouth of your enemy. And you know what? There's somebody else in torment and depressed and hanging by a thread and suicidal and they can't praise. That's why your praise is reproductive. So your praise will ricochet all over this building because the Bible said when Paul and Silas praised God, it wasn't just their jail cell that was open, but all the doors were open. So you have no idea what doors you're opening on the row of everybody that's down you that's hurting so bad they can't get a sound out. You get a sound out for them and set them free. Hallelujah. I got to keep going. There's a praise that steals them. So now there is an intensity that I can go to in my praise where I've not just shut him up, but I have rendered him inactive. So I have stopped all activity against my household by my praise. Heavenly.
keeping you in it. Where is it you want to go? You got to begin to put a sound in the atmosphere and then your life will begin to follow the sound you make. Do you feel like God wants you to be further along than you are? In this series, Heavenly Chaos from Ron Carpenter, you'll learn that your praise is the key to getting you there. I want you to look at my life and I can be in the midst of hell and something is about to happen. Something is about to turn up. You can't see it. But don't let what you see confuse you because you don't know the sound that I've been making. And my life is not what you see. My life is where I'm saying ah! This series is available for your gift of $40 or more. Call now and we will include free shipping and an MP3 download card. Call 1-888-259-8200. Call now or visit roncarpenter.com or write to the address on your screen. It's been a long time since I have enjoyed preaching something like I have Heavenly Chaos. This is going to be a long series. You need to dial in. You need to call some friends. You need to text them. You need to call them. You need to email them. Whatever the means of technology you use and get some people in watching uh, these programs on this series because it is a true culture change in the way we approach God in our private praise and worship life as well, our corporate praise and worship life in church. A lot of protocols to the presence of God, and I don't want us to miss any, because in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, and at His right hand are pleasures forevermore. I just want to tell you that I thank you for being with us. I thank you for sponsoring us. We didn't show you any ads, so what am I stopping at midpoint to do? I do two things. I want to thank the people who do everything that they do on a week-by-week, month-by-month, year-by-year basis to keep us on the air. Yes, it is you. This is viewer supported, listener supported. We don't sell anything. We don't show any advertisements. We don't sell any time. We don't do any of that. We're right here and we believe this is the most important message in the world. And because of that, we're willing to give so our time, our energy, our prayer, and yes, even our resources to make sure the gospel of Jesus goes all over the earth. Thank you for those of you who've been doing it with us for a very long time here at Ron Carpenter Television. And secondly, an opportunity to increase our circle. Uh, we always want to do more. Uh, we're grateful for the programming we have. We're grateful for the times that we're on. Uh, but we're always being offered more, and there's always more opportunities. And those more opportunities put us in more households. And somebody gets to hear that wouldn't normally have been able to hear. And then all of a sudden, like in the book of Acts, for the saving of them and their whole household, their whole house gets saved. And it just begins to multiply. And it all starts right here just behind a camera. Would you consider, if you've been blessed today but you've never given before, becoming a monthly partner? That means you just giving whatever gift God puts in your heart toward a monthly goal and being a monthly supporter of Ron Carpenter Television or maybe just a one-time gift doesn't matter. I just want you to obey God in this moment and see what he would have you to do. And God promises this, that whatever's given, he'll give back to you, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? God will have people placed at strategic times who pour back into you on a greater level than you poured out. Thank you for all that you do. And I want to let you know we have this gift that we're going to send to you that just says this simply. Thank you for remembering us, for valuing us, and for sowing into this ministry. Hopefully God richly blesses you for that. I'm gonna get out of the way. Let's get back into some of this heavenly chaos. Then there's this third dimension. It is the height of foolishness. The third dimension praise is called the shout. Because the shout means to tear your enemy piece by piece. Yeah, but it sure makes me feel dumb. There was only, it took a third dimension praise to take Jericho's walls down. You have got to understand the next level is always designed to keep you out. To move into your next level, there'll be something you have to change, shift, do, or know because it has walls around it. And for 40 years, 
Israel didn't shout. And for 40 years, they looked at a wall. But when they shouted, so if I'm reading my Bible right, there's a praise that silences the enemy. There's a praise that steals the enemy. And there is a actual praise that called the shout that will lessen the number of them. I challenge you to tune in to 100 churches this afternoon and see if you hear any shouting. Maybe that's why we're losing. Maybe that's why evil advances and churches are half full. Just suggesting it. This is kind of cartoonish, but can I tell you what is happening? You prayed for God to deliver your child from drugs, and you know what? God sent the answer when you prayed. But we haven't praised in protocol. We haven't done anything in the second heaven. So here's Satan when it drops. God answered every prayer you've ever prayed. And they're all being held in the second heaven. Because it's only the power of the shout that releases third dimension things into your life. <laughs> what if you could release something in this building today that would cause 10, 20, 30 years of prayers to be unleashed in your life in a week because they started following. I hope I made you mad. I hope I have kicked you off because it's not the enemies, it was yours. And God answered you the moment that you prayed. And you need to command your enemy to turn your stuff loose. Take you a breath, open up your mouth, forget about who's watching you, forget about your title, forget about what you've accomplished, and make your enemy turn your prayers loose. Come on, give God a shout. Turn it loose. 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 Shake the heavens. Make them turn it loose. Turn it loose. Turn it loose. Hey! Keep breathing. Keep shouting. Keep breathing. Keep shouting. When I think about Jesus, what he's done for me. When I think about Jesus, how he set me free, I can shout, 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 shout. Oh. Say, when I think about Jesus, what he's done for me. When I think about Jesus, shout. Dance, 
Turn it loose! Turn it loose! Turn it loose! Somebody praise him. Somebody bless him. Somebody praise him. and stare at walls. Even David, a 12-year-old freckle-faced boy, walking toward a 10-foot military machine named Goliath, he had his sling and his rock. And even while he was walking toward Goliath, I can't imagine this. He's saying, you come at me with a sword and a spear, yes, sir. but I come at you in the name of the Lord God of hosts who has given you into my hands this day. Don't you ever run towards your giant with your mouth shut. You talk to him the whole time. You run toward him talking the whole time. I'm telling you, I come at you in Jesus' name. I come at you with the power of the Holy Spirit. I come. I want you to turn around and tell three people, say, you will never be the same. Tell them you.
Can we just give him praise? Come on, can we just give him? This is the atmosphere where people will fly across a nation and over a sea to be in during the 212. To be in this. Not on this. Get this anywhere. Can't get this anywhere. In fact, let me go on record and say it's very rare. You'd have to go find it. But I believe that's the mantle that's on this church. And I hope you're enjoying taking this journey with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. May he establish you and give you peace. You are dismissed whenever you want to leave. In Jesus' name, have a great week. Maybe you're there and you're in a room. Maybe you're watching me in some type of waiting area in a hospital. Maybe you are, you know, watching through a smart device of some type. I don't know. But maybe life's not going the way you planned. Maybe you thought you'd be further along than you are at this point. Maybe life has been full of disappointments. Maybe you have navigated yourself to a place where you don't feel like you have options and you don't have answers. I don't know. I don't have to be very prophetic to know that going in this many homes, that there's some people who, you know what, they say, there's just something missing in my life. It's not a what, it's a who. His name is Jesus. And everything good flows out of him and starts with this one singular decision. It is to accept him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. And the prayer goes something like this. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you see me and you know me. You are touched with my feelings. You care about where I am. And today, I'm believing you for that turnaround. So I ask you into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. I ask you to wash me and cleanse me of my sins. I believe you died and rose on the third day to purchase my salvation. I receive your salvation now in the person of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Call in, write in, email us, send us a letter, do something. Let us know if you accepted Christ. And until next time, God bless you. See, some of you, some seasons that God already wanted you to have exited, your mouth is keeping you in it. Where is it you want to go? You got to begin to put a sound in the atmosphere, and then your life will begin to follow the sound you make. Do you feel like God wants you to be further along than you are? In this series, Heavenly Chaos from Ron Carpenter, you'll learn that your praise is the key to getting you there. I want you to look at my life, and I can be in the midst of hell, and something is about to happen. Something is about to turn around. You can't see it, but don't let what you see confuse you because you don't know the sound that I've been making. And my life is not what you see. My life is where I'm saying that. Ah! This series is available for your gift of $40 or more. Call now and we will include free shipping and an MP3 download card. Call 1-888-259-8200. Call now or visit roncarpenter.com or write to the address on your screen.